To start, I have four pieces of 332nd RG45, and these are 11 and a half inches long. I'm fuse welding the ends of the first two rods, and then I'll fuse weld the ends of the other two rods. Now that I have them fused together, I can use the pliers and form these into a shallow curve. And this will be for the hull or the pontoons of the catamaran. And here I got just a little bit too much curve, so I want to make these a bit narrower or closer together. Now I'll fuse weld these together on each end. Fuse welding, in this case, is melting both ends of the 332nd inch rod so that they flow together. The steel becomes molten and flows together. Now I'm using two pieces of 332nd RG45 to tie the two hulls, or the pontoons, together. And I've positioned these about an inch and a quarter from the ends of the stern and the bow, the front and the rear of the catamaran. Here I'm adding some internal structure to the catamaran. And for this I'm using 1 8 inch RG45. I'm raising this in, and the center or the horizontal rod, this will be where the mast is attached to the catamaran. Here I'm gas welding some 332nd inch rods that go from end to end on the pontoons. And I'm using 1 16th inch RG45 as the gas filler rod. Gas welding the 332nd inch rods into the pontoons. Here I've turned the catamaran frame over so that I'm working on the bottom and where I gas welded those inline pieces for the catamaran for the pontoons. I want to clean that up with this tube sander because I'm going to braise these rods which will be the bottom of the pontoons onto the frame of the catamaran. Now to braise onto the catamaran frame. And what's important here is to make sure that these are straight. I'm going to use this block of steel as a weight so it doesn't move around on me. I can twist this so that everything is in line. For the mast, I'm using two pieces of RG45. One piece is 4 inches by 3 32nd, and the other is 7.5 inches by 1 8th. I'm using a triangular piece of copper for the flag. And now to braise the mast onto the catamaran. And if you'll notice in the inset photo, I've added a 1 16th inch piece of rod which I've curved so that I can have two places to braise to, instead of just one braise with the mast. Brazing at two points is always more secure than just brazing at one point. Brazing the head stay to the mast and then to the support on the catamaran. Holding the rod just like that is a little precarious and I may have to go back and rebraze that. For the sails for the catamaran, I'm using 1 16th inch RG45, using my thumbs, applying a slight pressure to form these gentle curves, brazing the ends together of these 1 16th inch RG45 pieces for the sails. Attaching the mainsail to the mast and then the jib sail to the head stay. And next, brazing the 
jib and mainsail to the headstay and the upper mast. For finishing, a wire brush for the brazed and welded joints, a file for taking care of any rough edges, some rub and buff for gold highlights, and then spraying with a clear lacquer or an aerosol clear acrylic.